Hello and welcome to UFPTC. My name is Napalm Fire, and today I'm going to try to rush through this as quickly as possible because YouTube keeps kicking this one off because it's too long. So this is advanced bash techniques. Today we're going to be talking about special characters and some keyboard shortcuts. So uh, this is just a quick refresher for those of you who don't know, uh, you know, or for for those of you who know how to use this stuff uh, for newbies. I'm sorry. This is going to kind of go quick. Uh, look this stuff up online. So first, the first special character we got is called what's called the wild card. So we see here in this uh, in this directory, we have five files. Now let's say we only want to read the ones that have email in the front. Uh, you know, you could type out by hand cat email backup cat Jody cat same, but uh, that would that would be super inefficient and it'd be a pain if you ever wanted to automate the experience. So uh, that's where the wild card special character comes in, which is an asterisk. So let's do a cat command and email star. That's the uh, wild card right there. And when we press enter, we'll see it read the backup email, Jody's email, and Sam's email. So that's pretty simple. Uh, let's say we wanted to back this or narrow this down even further. We could do email dash star dot text, and it would only read Jody's email and Sam's email and ignore backup because now it's no longer in the criteria. Super super simple stuff. Uh, the next one we have is uh, the question mark, which is like a wild card for one character. So consider this situation where you want to only uh, cat the ones that say cats one dot text. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to reset those files, so they have nothing in them right now. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. But let's say you only wanted to, uh, you know, read cats one and not cats in one dash backup. Or you only want to read the ones that are cat's number and not cat's number dot backup. So what we do is we do cat's question mark dot text, and that would get us what we're looking for. Um, super super simple stuff. Again, I mean it, it couldn't get any simpler than this. So the next one's a little bit more complicated. Uh, this one is the arrow symbols. And so the arrows uh, allow us to write the output of a program to a file. So let's uh, cat output.txt real quick here. So it says print it in it right now. So I'll teach you the, f the first one, which is the arrow going this way, uh, the greater than symbol. And so what we do is let's uh, cat, um, oh, let's do ls, the, we'll output uh, ls slash into um, output.txt. And when we press enter and cat output.txt, we see it put the output of ls into output.txt. This is useful if you want to save things like nmap scans or uh, you know data that uh, you get from uh, from programs. Super quick and easy. The next one is the double arrow. The double arrow is does the same thing. It writes the output of a file to a text file, except it appends it to the end. So when I press enter and recat we'll see that it just starts over again. And so basically all it did was it appended it. Now if I were to do the cat ls slash to output dot txt with just the one arrow, we'd see it, it overwrote everything and just rewrote the, uh, the uh, output of the directory. So that's simple again. So this one's going to be a little bit more complicated and we're going to have to use this one a lot for the later examples but the pipe symbol is a super important thing. So what the pipe symbol lets us do is it lets us take the output of a program and um, s put it into another program. So for instance, let's do ls slash pipe symbol, which is that vertical line, uh, and then uh, let's do grep, which allows us to search text and look for anything, any line containing, the, uh, containing a B in it. And we'll see it, it took the output from ls and sent it to grep. And so that's super simple. So the next one we have to talk about is text programs. Programs that allow us to edit text kind of on the fly. They're command line programs and they're super, super awesome. Uh, let me just get into the grep directory real quick here. Alright, so let's uh, cat grep.txt first just so you can see it. So here we have four lines. Uh, one says some test, you know, you can read yourself. 
And uh, what we're going to do is show what grep does. Grep lets us search through patterns of text uh, and look for a specific pattern and only display lines with that pattern. So for instance, let's uh, cat grep.txt uh, int uh, and then pipe it to grep and look for any line that contains the number two in it. Or actually the number three. And we'll see. There we go. It only displayed that line. Now let's broaden our search and make it only ones with the letter I in it. We'll see that four displayed two, but we'll notice that bingo has an I in it, but it wasn't displayed. That's because we need to tell it to be case insensitive using the minus I switch, and we'll see bingo totally shows up. So that's super useful. Um, cut is another extremely wonderful program that I love and will use all the time. So let's cat cut.txt and see what's in it. So we'll see kind of a table layout here. Uh, four columns, and each column is separated by a little uh, colon, and that's what's called a delimiter. Uh, cut lets us cut text based on a delimiter. So uh, let's let's just uh, you know cat cut.txt in and then pipe it into cut minus d colon and that tells it to that that's the delimiter for our our text that we're going to put into it is the colon minus f3 which tells it to go to the third field which will only pull stuff from column three and then when we press enter we'll see there it is column three three zero right so if we were to do for instance two it would pull from column two that's really useful when you have like lots of uh, comma separated files and stuff like that. That's a wonderful, wonderful little tool. Uh, so the next one is sort. Uh, sort is a pretty self-explanatory program. It sorts text. Duh. Uh, ooh, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I was going to say that I, I accidentally screwed up the file. I'll go edit it. Oh, I did screw up the file. Ha. Uh, let me just go edit it real quick uh, and throw in like a d and we'll just throw in some random text here and we're going to get it alphabetically assembled all right control x all right there we go so let's uh cat sort dot text and send the output to sort so when you press enter we'll see it's nice and sorted by uh what's it called by the uh alphabetical order but what if we want to remove these duplicates we notice we have some duplicates in here that i very purposely put in so what we do is we use the minus u switch and that lets us oops not with that horrible thing and we'll see that everything was cut down into things that are not duplicates so anything that was a duplicate is removed from the list and of course we can use this to uh you know put to a text file so when we cat sorta dot text oops sorta dot text we see oops there we go we see the results so that's super simple. The only other two things you need to know is control C and control Z. So let's use a program that's going to take a really, really long time to complete, like Nmap. So once we press enter, Nmap starts working, but it's taking too long and we have other important shit to do. So we press control C and it quits us back out to the command line so we can go back and do our work. Now, let's say that you wanted to, uh, you know, do some other work, but you didn't want to stop your, your scan midway through. That'd be bad practice. So instead, press Control Z, and then that stops it. And all you have to do is just do VG1, and we'll see what programs are in the background. And then once that scan's completed, it'll display in that same terminal window. But if we close it out, it won't. So, and I don't really want to keep running the Nmap scan, because it's going to take a really long time. So that's basically it. Sorry to kind of rush through it. Again, YouTube is very nice to cut my videos up uh, and ruin everything. Fuck you too, YouTube. Uh, I'm just kidding, YouTube. I, I love you, and I don't want to ever hurt you, so whatever. Either way, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, rate, and subscribe. It helps us out immensely. And don't be afraid to check out uh, Dark, or not Dark Forums. <laughs> that's the old forums. Uh, you, umbrellaforms.com or .co.cc not .com we're going to try to get .com at some point but umbrellaforms.co.cc you know we hope to see you there uh, thanks again for watching